Hello, my friends. Let's go ahead and get unboxing the Missouri Star End of the Bolt Mystery Box. So they put this out each year. It's $99 and you get a assortment of fabric that is just what's left on a bolt that's not usable as a yardage sale to them. So they collect them, put them in these boxes. And the, I've done, this is my third one. I loved the first one that I got and I used everything. And then the second one was out of my comfort zone with fabric choices, a lot of borders and remnants of like panels. Woo! So this one, oh, I'm seeing lots of neutrals, which is honestly a relief. <laughs> to be honest, it's nice to have more usable fabrics this time. Ooh, oh, so here's the high level. I'm gonna take each one out and get it measured. Ooh, we got some like right off the bat. We got nice big cut. So let me see. Do you guys want to know that this is Bernatex Malabar Wide? Oh, 24 inches of the first one. Got this lovely green. And let's see, it looks like, ooh, it's a Kimberbell. 12 inches. A nice foot of that. Nice neutral white. It's a grunge white, so it's got a little bit of texture. And this one has, oh my goodness, 27 inches. Ugh, why is this one like got, was there a cat? Going on this like oh my goodness or maybe it was next to no this looks like a animal here <laughs> maybe there's some fuzzy fabric Ooh, what what is going on here hmm okay no it's just a it, it's a product it's not an animal <laughs> it's just <laughs> that's how i'm going to sleep at night 21 inches 21 inches for that. Oh my goodness, we got a flannel. Very soft. 29 inch piece of that flannel. That's awesome. Oh, here's another flannel on this green. I think this is from Maywood. <laughs> I can see it, Maywood Studio. Yeah, this is um, that Bonnie Sullivan. I actually have the panel from this collection, so now I can keep adding to it with these fabrics that I got. Oh, look at the little flannel houndstooth. This one's from Moda, and that's 13 inches. See, and these these are hardest to use, these stripes, when they come in these remnants. But I got 24 inches of that and more houndstooth. That's nice that these will go together in a project. Oh my goodness, that's a big cut. I have 33 inches. Here is a really pretty pink and I never have enough pink fabric. 17 inches for that one. And we're halfway through the box. This is really stiff. This one is 20, we'll say 22, a little more. Um, very signature K facet. That one is 17 inches. I love this black. And I feel like I have something very similar. Let's see, Marcus Fabrics, 31 inches that piece. This nice little scratchy type pattern from Robert Kaufman. One is 21 inches. This nice floral print and that's 28 inches. And then this gray grunge, 21 inches. Green sort of fern type style. Let me see this. This one is from Wilmington. I have quite a few of their prints. Um, 27 inches. 27 inches for that. 
Oh, cool. Oh, this is so stunning. Whoa, it's like earthy, almost like a watercolor. What is this? See, and I would have never, I don't think, found that outside of... Oh, and it, oh, it's ombre. Oh, whoa, that is so pretty. Oh my goodness. All right, all right, all right. Very familiar line. I mean, there's not a lot of ombre fabrics out there, but it doesn't stand the selvage. Who makes that? Ooh. Oops, I gotta measure it. I got all excited and it was already ready to put it on the shelf. I get a 21 inch cut of that one. And then this, ah, I got um, some of this last, last year. Decotex, yeah, basic gray grunge from Moda. And I love that, I used the whole thing. So I'm gonna use that too, easily. So 26 inches for that one. And we're getting to the last two. A nice basic background. Ooh, and a big piece. 30, 33 inches that way. Oh, look. Oh, these three look so nice already. And then this is like a, a muslin. Feels like a muslin. Which I have lots of uses for. Big cut. This is 30, 35, 35 inches, that muslin. And that is the whole box. That's everything. So let me go ahead and give you the summary at the end and let me know what you thought of this mystery bowl. I am super happy with it. We got a little pop of color, but lots of super neutrals and kind of coordinating with existing projects that I have. I'm really happy with this box. It was worth every penny. But last year I looked up to see if the price changed and I had a coupon last year. So I only spent like $75 and that was the box that I liked the least. So at least I didn't spend the full $99. But all right. Thanks everyone. Bye.